In this video, I'll be showing you how you automate your refunds. First thing first is you want to utilize your VA that you have for customer service. So if you don't have a VA for customer service, that means you don't have enough emails. That means you won't have that many refunds. Two, you want to create additional accounts for your VA because you don't want to give your VAs your PayPal account, your Stripe account, your Shopify account. That's a big no-no. So this is basically putting another account that's under your account. You provide them with certain things they could do. One, you don't have to provide your own password and username. Two, you can restrict what they see and can do. So with my PayPal account, I only allow refunds and orders and apps. Meaning with the apps, they could use Oberlo and Dropify. Orders, they could see what orders need to be done. And refunds, meaning they could go into each order and process refunds for me. So Shopify, you just type in staff admin accounts on Google. And you'll be able to find a whole tutorial on how to do that. Similarly for PayPal, just type in how do I add users to my PayPal account on Google and you'll be able to find all this information. It's pretty easy to follow. What happens usually, VA would get an email asking for a refund. What they'll do next is they'll log into the additional Shopify account and they'll find the order and just click refund. It's simple as that. So basically, you pay your VA not to only reply to emails but as well as process refunds. Sometimes the order might be paid through PayPal. And when you click the refund button, it doesn't really work because I have many issues where I click the refund button and they don't get the refund through PayPal. So what I do is I should get my VA to log into their PayPal account, the additional account that I create, search the transaction using the email on the order, and then they just process the refund for me. It's simple as that. 